In the recent years, there has been a growing interest in electric vehicles and e-mobility in Kenya and East mm -hmm. Africa. The adoption of these technologies is seen not only as a way to reduce carbon emissions and improve air quality, but also as a means to address the region's energy challenges and support sustainable economic growth. East Africa is highly reliant on imported fossil fuels, which accounts for a significant proportion of the region's energy mix. This dependence on fossil fuels comes at a significant cost, with the high cost of imports contributing to region's high cost of energy prices. I know Kenyans are anxious, anxious because of the uh, prices of petroleum uh, that have gone high, the fuel prices that have gone high all over the world. In addition to financial cost, there is also growing concern about the environmental impact of the transport sector which is a significant contributor to air pollution in urban centers. The inspiration for Basigo really started in April 2020. That was right at the very beginning of the COVID pandemic. And we had this amazing thing happen in Nairobi where for three days, the government stopped all the diesel buses from operating. And almost overnight, the air in the city of Nairobi completely cleared. And we were able to see Mount Kenya 300 kilometers away, crystal clear. That showed us the impact that these diesel buses are having on the quality of our air. The shift towards electric vehicles and e-mobility presents a viable alternative as they offer a sustainable and cost-effective way to reduce the region's reliance on fossil fuels. Electric vehicles use rechargeable batteries that can be charged using renewable sources of energy which are abundantly in the region and their adoption can significantly reduce the region's carbon footprint. Furthermore, these electric vehicles are highly efficient, enabling the region to reduce its energy need and improve energy security. When it's fully charged, it's able to run over 250 kilometers just on a single charge. I think it will not only protect the environment, it will make it cheaper uh, for both the operator and eventually the consumer. The difference is 15 Kenya shillings per kilometer. That's a huge difference. It hits the bottom line directly. Kenya has not been left behind. It has been leading the way in the adoption of electric vehicles and e-mobility in East Africa. The government has been implementing the policies aimed at promoting the uptake of EVs and e-mobility, including the electric vehicles policy, which was launched in 2018. Africa's future is electric. This policy sets out guidelines for the development and deployment of EVs, including the establishment of EV charging infrastructures. Currently, there are several electric vehicles models available in Kenyan markets, courtesy of Basigo and Rome Rapid, one of the leading assembling plants in Kenya. This is the change we have been looking for. We are investors. E-Bus is making our work Easier. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a drive in one of the electric buses here in Kenya, starting my drive from Nairobi CBD all the way to Outering area. So I'm going to be using Basigo, a 25-seater minibus, the Oma. Is it Oma? Yeah, Oma route. Just to experience it, engage with the travelers so that you can know what they think about the electric buses. If you're new here, my name is Dolphin254. I do infrastructural development videos, city tours, and real estate. So if you haven't subscribed, guys, consider subscribing. I really need your support, okay? Subscribe, like, and share. So enjoy the rest of the video. What do you want to so, let me just see. Sunny, Sunny, Young, at the back. Let me sit here. Hey, Sasa. Wow, wow, wow. Nine years when it took my Oh, and I took my almost full so I'm not going to a specific place 
just wanna enjoy the ride and come back with you. So enjoy. <laughs> Bye-bye. 